this section talks about the storage and how best it can be incorporated in the planning of agriculture produce. So, this can be done either in the form of a small watershed or it can be done in the major river basin scale. And in the river basin scale what has happened is uh, even though agroclimatic zone is same and water availability varies from one place to another place and as well as the water demand from an individual sectors varies from another place. The water quality issues may be there and if it is going to be irrigation uh, if it is a command area where there is cash cropping uh, activities are more. So, there it is expectation from the water and distribution sector is very high. So, once is basin analysis is given it to you how in the basin as a basin how this water availability storage information is more important. This is about a Kataprabha region somewhere in the part of the Krishna river. So, this starts from here this is the uh, catchment area and this is the command area where this reservoirs they supply to this entire cropping area. So, now what has happened is we are interested in what is the rainfall distribution of this. So, that how the reservoir will be filled up and if a particular given a particular rainfall how much water will be uh, stored here and uh, what will be the continuity of water release. Water release is more important for this agriculture group and that depending upon that then if the supply is going to be continuous uninterrupted then there is no need for the supplement irrigation like a ground water purposes. Whereas, if the probability of storage is very less depending based on the uh, rainfall data or the weather data then I may have to focus on my activities focus on my creation of a infrastructure for a supplementary area. So, this can be done by combining meteorological information terrain information. So, now the in addition to that what is happening is and our water infrastructure what is meant by water infrastructure available in these things is there are reservoirs there are ponds and lake there are canals this see now depending upon the construction whether it how old it is if it is a older reservoir older means may be about 40 to 60 years old the probability of a sedimentation is very high the storage capacity of the reservoir is less. So, that they may not be able to store enough water as we anticipate and as we have planned for the agriculture down. Similarly is the case if it is a pond or a natural pond as well as lakes created and the storage uh, volume is going to be a greater importance. Now, if it is going if your area is going to be on a canal canals normally canal sections there is lot of seepages water losses either a man made or man induced water losses or the physical condition based physical losses are possible the aquifers are also important. The crop area and crop type. So, normally in a progressive area what happen is that there is a suitable crops for the particular agroclimatic zone is one thing, but for us for a developmental purpose there are a cash crops are there which are coming up in a which there is a shift over uh, to a cash crops which are not suitable for that particular agroclimatic region that leads to certain hard burns and other certain unwanted things get happened because of the production losses. Now, what is in this areas what we are interested is we are interested is what is the water availability in a particular region then what is the ground water fluctuations what is the water requirements then what is the availability what is the requirement will there be a supply deficit supply deficit in terms of quantity supply distribute in terms of distribution problems. So, that is of a concern and this concern is of a present day concern, but if there is going to be a rainfall and temperature variations and what are the additional water requirements that are it is likely to happen and is there a need for creation of more water infrastructures or water usage facility these are of major concern and classify them based on the sub basin wise whether is there a water infrastructure need to be improved or need to be created that is the type of things which is being done in some portions for a large scale crop production activities. We take from the uh, rain guard stations we create the Thyssen polygons and we, we take the rainfall uniformity purposes 
and the, the rainfall trend when this places what it does it certain areas you have the rainfall trend is increasing certain areas there is a decrease in the trend rainfall trend is down. Now how do you do it that is you have the digital elevation model that shows about the thing what all the these slopes they will tell you about which are the areas potential areas for more agriculture when compared to the rest of the areas. This is about the geology that is for the aquifer purpose this is about the soil one thing is for the infiltration studies as well as it is used for the suitability of crops. Now the second thing is even though we have a rainfall data from 1975 to 2009, but there are certain ups and downs variations which has been recorded in the past, but how best it will be able to show it in these areas is a really a important question. Now what are the different climatic zones which you will be able to say that yes, this is a humid region, this is a drier regions this is in between regions and now when you consider it here you have to consider it as a humid region as a zone this is as a uh, semi arid to arid type of regions for our climate change. If it is here then the humid region there is a probability that rainfall intensity may, may short rainfall intensity may vary whereas in the other areas in the semi arid regions there is a prediction for uh, temperature increase. If there is going to be a temperature increase then the water demand will be more, water uh, losses will be more. So we may have to give additional water to keep up the plant. So that is this part of the region there is a lot of variations there are lot of drought events have been predicted with experience. So standardized precipitation index is one method which will tell you about what would be the potential drought conditions after 3 months, 6 months and 12 months. So there are some of them are if you look at the extreme drought conditions there is 3 months they do not show anything whereas over a larger a period then there is a extreme uh, drought conditions are possible and similarly the severe drought conditions they are all in the southern portion of the uh, basin is possible whereas the moderate conditions they are there in the middle area range between the humid and semi arid region. So this type of one thing is what is the probability of a drought area drought situations is a one way which we will be able to plan our activities as a standby material. Now when you are talking about agriculture production from a large basinal uh, scale the information what we are interested for the agriculture development is one thing is do we have enough the surface runoff water availability is first thing. Second thing is do we have if the water hap, uh, flow happens during immediately after the monsoon do we have enough storages facilities if so what is the condition of the storage facility how much storage facility which we can expect now onwards that means one thing. Then second thing is what is the uh, ground water potential which can be used as a supplementary irrigation. Then for fourth one is about how much is the uh, crop area and crop type variation which you will be able to see that. So all these parameters and if there is going to be climate change in this area what is the maximum temperature or what is the maximum. Uh, uh, rainfall which you can expect it from here so that we will have the uh, options for cu cultivating things either sh uh, advancing the cultivation process or delaying the cultivation processes so that the water is available for the crop production. So whatever the cropping decision which farmers are taking it or the agencies are taking it are having the right kind of basic support. Thank you.